Alright, welcome to the last part of my open foam video tutorial on short sleeve modeling. Uh, in case you started your simulation already, uh, at the end of part 4, I recommend you to terminate it for once more because we forgot one crucial thing to adjust and let's just start with the control deck first. Um, here you can see that um, if I open it, normally in the general um, the general adjustment this adjustable time step was still on yes so you may want to put this to no here because otherwise uh, the time step will increase too much and your simulation will crash because the mesh is simply just too coarse also I recommend you to put um, 5 e minus 5 here or 0 0.00005 and write interval 2e2. So let's do this 2e2 as write interval and uh, 5 e minus 5 as Um, time step. Okay, having that said, we can address another important can address another important issue, and because we need to do the set fields command first, but in order to do so, we have to um, modify the dictionary first. We'll do this with gedit once more. the genuine version and uh, of course we need to replace alpha water with alpha melt and we go from minus one to one which doesn't really matter from minus one to zero in this case because filling until zero in y level will mean we fill the shot sleeve only half and here we can go once more from 0, 1 till 1. Okay, save. And now we close it and execute set fields. Okay, that seemed to work. Let's check whether we were successful. Power foam. Certainly need the alpha melt in order, to determine, in order to determine whether we are successful or not. If we look at it now, we see that we filled the shot sleeve halfway to its top. So this is something we can perfectly work with. And uh, all that is left for us to do now will be to start the simulation. This time I do it by redirecting the output to a log file. And send it itself to the back. And I can still look at its success by telling it. See that it's solving. thing is if we kill it now we will only kill, kill the tail process while the other is still running. For example if we do top <coughs> we see that the compressible net foam is still running. Okay so in order to prepare ourselves for the next video I can already tell you what you will uh, for creating the video I can already tell you what you will need and uh, I recommend you to download the Mencoder um, well, program, you can do this with this command. Because this will create videos 
much more conveniently and much more easily that are much more compressed and also much faster than the video creation engine in uh, Paraview and uh, so I re always recommend you just take pictures in Paraview and then make the video using this Mancoda tool. I don't need to download it anymore because I already got the newest version which is quite uh, quite reasonable because I already did the video that I showed to you in the beginning. Okay, one more thing while the solver is still running is uh, that I can tell you that uh, you can download all the files that I was addressing at fr addressing from my uh, from my web page which I'm going to open uh, here and uh, they are not there right now uh, if you just google for example Sebastian Kohlstedt KDH and you will see among the results This page, Katie Steph, for example. And this is my research group, and all the way down, down here. And uh, and this page, you will soon then find uh, all the files that are necessary for you to do the same as just we did. Or, well, basically, if you follow the instructions, you won't need them at all. But for those of you who are more lazy, you can also easily download them right from there. And I will also include the script for creating the video. Okay, since uh, the simula this um, simulation should take about um, three minutes, roughly, we can already maybe start um, Parafoam. Let's see if it's still running. No, not anymore. Let's see if it finished correctly. Yes, finished all the way till the end. The tail process says end here. That's very good. So now we can actually display the results by using PowerFoam. internal mesh and what we for sure need the alpha melt well P and U won't hurt but we also don't necessarily need them we can hide this and just go for one of the standard orientations and roll our camera by minus 90 degrees and uh, I also would like to Display the surface with edges and also, of course, the alpha melt. And let's see if we got everything as we want it. Yes, that's looking very good. It's looking just as we want it to be. And uh, what I can add more is this bar. If I'm going to do it exactly as in the video here. And also the time at the bottom, which I can. Go for filters, temporal annotate time filter, and I want to want to have two um, digits after the decimal point. I also want the an S at the end in order to say that it is seconds. And now we can see here that you have the time. And I think normally consider 18 to be a bit too big, so now we go for 12, just like this. And um, yeah, this is about as I so would like it. And uh, if I go go for file, save animation now, I can. This doesn't really matter because I'm not creating a video, but I want to go for top 1920 and 1080, which is HD resolution. Time save range 0 till 25 is fine. Um, so I can go for save animation, and this is my case folder, and I create a new folder, which I call images. And I select PNG files, go into images, 
and I call it image. Okay, and now it should the Paraview should create all the images. Don't worry, don't get distracted by this uh, excerpt of the pictures you're only seeing. Well, it's already done. That was quick. Let's see if we got if we got what we wanted. It's the images folder. There's one image. As we can see, it's just as we wanted them to be. Okay, so all that is left to be done now is to create the video. And uh, for this video, I'm going to copy the script from another case that I did. And uh, as I told you, you can, you're able to download it uh, later on. Control C, going back to the case file, images. Z. There it is. And now I can actually close Paraform already, Paraview already, because I won't need it anymore. <coughs> so they should realize soon that Paraview is done. Okay, now it is done. And I can show you quickly what this um, create video script is doing. Go to images, create video, and display it in gedit. You can see that it calls this mencoder, tells them where the images are, tells them about the resolution, frame rate, 10 frames per second, tells it that it is a PNG format, some other options, codex, and how it shall be named. In this case, I want to have it named short sleeve video. Av. Okay, save and close. And now I can actually execute it. Images create video. That creates the video. And 10 frames per second will mean the video will actually be uh, 2.5 seconds in length. And if I now go to my folder, I have the I will have a shot sleep video dot av, and uh, if I double click on that. It displays just the video. I want it, well, wanted to have it. So this will be the end of my tutorial course. I hope you liked it and um, please leave me some feedback in the comments, something I can improve, something I can work on, maybe something for a new video that you're interested in, some whatever error that occurred to you while you were redoing it or something where you got stuck or why I didn't provide enough explanation. And I'll happy to attend it. Just one more thing to mention: this project, while well, the general, uh, this general idea of modeling a short sleeve, um, was uh, was created when I was doing when I was doing one of my PhD courses, and in particular, I was doing a PhD course at Chalmers University. It was called a PhD course uh, CFD with open source software. And it's something if you want to learn more about OpenFoam and in particular uh, the application as well as uh, the programming and solver development and developing your own uh, utilities or classes, they can totally recommend it. It's uh, taught by Professor Hakan Nilsson of Chalmers University. And you can just uh, well email him if you have any questions about the course and would like to participate next year. And uh, this was the project that I did. Um, modeling hypersharp die casting, and uh, if you want to read more about it, instead of doing the um, video to following the video tutorial, you can also read the report here. I have to talk to Hakan. Maybe he can even include uh, the link to the YouTube file uh, on this web page. 
Okay, this is all I have to say for now. Um, I want to conclude this, this uh, tutorial with one more look at the video we just created. Uh, once more, I hope my ideas and my explanations can be at least of some help for some people. And uh, good luck with the simulations, and uh, I'm looking forward to your feedback. All the best, and bye.